Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, this is where we discuss all things financial services related. Tell you what's really happening out there in the marketplace. We talk about the IMOs. We talk about different types of IMOs. For example, network marketing IMOs, multi-level marketing IMOs, captive independent broker. We talk about the products. We talk about the compensation plans. And where necessary, I provide third-party documentation to back up my opinion and my rhetoric so that way you can decide what's best for you. This week's video is titled how you can make three thousand dollars a week in mortgage detection. No leads to buy just make a list or even people you run into uh, every day buying gas, going grocery shopping, go to the movies, going to work, going to school, whatever, and ask them a few simple questions which can lead to you making $3,000 a week. Or even people that you meet out and about, even the guy ringing up the gas at the gas station. Can you say living benefits? Big change in our industry in the last couple of years is this thing called living benefits. Now we've had a form of living benefits for a number of years. Some have one, some have two, some have all three. Basically it's critical illness, terminal illness, and critical injury. Most people that have any kind of coverage at all, if the policy is three years or older, don't have any type of living benefits at all attached to their life insurance policy, which makes it a death policy and not a life insurance policy. I'll get into that more a bit later. But first, let's talk about what are living benefits and why they are so important now and a big opportunity really for all of us agents right now. So right now, look, we have really a mission or a crusade going on in the marketplace or a movement to tell people that we have a product and a life insurance product where you don't have to die in order to collect the death benefit, which most people don't understand. So our goal should be to go out and protect as many people as we can with this thing called living benefits. Our mission, our goal really is to make sure the people you talk to have living benefits attached to their policy. Life insurance, not just death insurance. So our mission as agents today in 2019 is to make sure that everybody that we know, everybody that we, friends, family, neighbors, people go to church with, people go to school with, everybody that we meet and everybody that we come across just in our daily activity has life insurance and has living benefits attached to it. And I'm going to get into reasons why that's so important right now. People, because of modern medicine, are living longer, but they're also living sicker. Listen to these numbers and take some notes to rewatch the video so you can share this with your prospect. But here they are. So number one, each year about 735,000 Americans have a heart attack. Number two, out of those 735,000, 525,000 have first time heart attacks. And number three, out of those 735,000 people, 210,000 happen to people that have already had a form of a heart attack. This is staggering. About half of Americans, about 47% of them, have had at least one of these three factors happen to them. One, high cholesterol. Two, heart disease three, high blood pressure or smoking. These numbers are according to the CDC. Each year, according to NIH.gov, 795,000 people suffer from a stroke. 140,000 of those folks die. 10 to 20% of the strokes are fatal. So what happens to the other 80 to 90%, right? Cancer in 2019, was projected that 1,685,201 people were going to be diagnosed with cancer and 595,000 were going to die from it. 454.8 new cases per 100,000 people each year. So every year there's 454 people per 100,000 that get diagnosed with cancer and 171 of those are fatal. For the agent that can wrap their head around this concept, buy into the importance of it, be sold on it first, then go out and tell as many people as you can about it, the crusade, the mission, and the cause, will open themselves up for a landfall of opportunity and help a lot of people make sure that in the event that they do survive a stroke or heart attack, but become disabled, 
and cannot work, have a total loss of income, they still can draw on that life insurance policy to pay their living expenses, their mortgages, put food on the table, their day-to-day -day expenses without losing their home and have a devastating loss of income. Look, about two years ago, I was really impacted by this because I kind of used to throw in the living benefits at the end of my presentation as well until I really grasped those numbers that I just presented to you. And I can't do it anymore. Here's the facts. As we get older, we are living longer, but we also are living sicker. One out of three die, but two live, but can't work. And since that's true, we need to be telling that story. That if you live and cannot work, where does that put you financially? And look, I know none of you came here today to watch this video for me to tell you how to go out and sell your friends and family. However, what kind of tragedy would it be if you had someone in your family that had the old kind of life insurance, had a stroke, and was financially devastated, lost their income, lost their home, because you did not tell them about living benefits? Look, what we have here right now, this thing called living benefits, is a mission that you should adopt to change out the old life insurance with a new kind of life insurance. The old kind of insurance, you have to die to get any money. The new kind is money if you die and money if you live. You need to fully grasp the difference between the new and the old kind of life insurance in order to be passionate about it and be able to explain it with passion. So right now there's a crusade, a mission, a movement, whatever you want to call it, to tell people that we have a product, life insurance, where you don't have to die in order to use. So how do you make $3,000 a week? That's what you came here to learn. I'm going to give you two ways. One, make a list of your friends, neighbors, or just ask anyone, hey, Bob, hey, whoever, do you have any kind of life insurance that will pay you if you don't die? For example, if you had a stroke or heart attack, you don't die, but you live. But here's the deal, you can't work. Total loss of income, how will you be able to pay your bills? And what does your finances look like 30 days after having a stroke, you're unable to work, have zero income, look like for your family, Bob? Can you make it financially without losing your home? Most people are gonna say no, we'd be financially devastated. You're right. That's why in the last five years, 61% of the bankruptcies filed in the United States were due to unpaid medical bills. It's because of these facts right here, and you need to get your head around it so you can capitalize on the market and go out there and protect people that need this type of coverage. If not, if you don't have this kind of insurance, you and I should get together and make sure you have life insurance, not death insurance, as soon as we can, and I can review your policies. Number two. These are called elevator pitches. Bob, do you have any kind of life insurance to protect your family in the case of your death to make sure your kids can go to college and can stay in the home? No matter what they say, yes or no, here's the next response. Did you know, Bob, about the new kind of life insurance where you don't have to die in order to collect? So if they answer no to that, here's what you say. Did you know, Bob, about the new kind of life insurance where you don't have to die in order to collect? If they say yes, say great. I'm glad you got some coverage. Do you have life insurance or death insurance? And they're gonna say, I don't know. And here's your response. Bob, the old kind of life insurance is you have to die in order to get the money. The new kind of life insurance is money if you die and money if you live. People are living longer, Bob, but they are living sicker. Here are the facts, Bob. One out of three die from a heart attack or a stroke, but two live but can't work. What does 30 days after surviving a stroke, but you're unable to work, have zero income, look like for your family, Bob? With those two elevator type conversations, if you sit down right now and over the next few weeks and talk to as many people as you know about the power of living benefits, you can easily earn $3,000 per week. I hope that helps. Get your head around these numbers, watch this video a couple of times, grasp the concept of living benefits and make sure Look, this gives us a huge amount of opportunity because even if you're calling or prospecting, working a lead program, or talking to your friends, family, neighbors, whoever you run into, whether or not they have life insurance, this opens the door up for opportunity for you to have a conversation about what they currently own and maybe do a review of their current life insurance policies and make sure they're aware of living benefits. If they have no coverage, this is a great time to get in and make sure they understand they don't have to die in order to collect. They may have a heart attack, two out of three now live, only one die, but they end up with either critical illness, terminal illness, or a critical injury. Now they can collect from that life insurance policy 
without dying to pay today's bills. Glad you were able to join me for this video. Do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell over behind here, make me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Go out there and be a better agent, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.